everyone welcome to pumpkin horror now today we're going to go over my second batch of Jason Voorhees masks they just came in today as I mentioned in my other video that they would come in today they came in a little later than usual but they came in that's the main thing um, well here's the thing these are from two separate companies that I got these masks from but yet three of them are exactly the same as the ones I got from the first batch so I do have doubles of three of them and I think for the most part I could use them to actually experiment and you know recolor them and you know do all kinds of stuff with them I've seen some customizations when it comes to these masks and stuff and, uh, and that's what I'm gonna plan on doing it's available if I ever want to play around with them I'll definitely do that so now I've got doubles of three of them so I'm gonna show you what they look like now if you've seen the first video you're gonna know automatically oh he's already got that one yeah so I'm gonna show you what they look like and they're pretty much the same as the other one so we won't delve into it too much I just pretty much showing you what they look like that's it all right now let's pull that back a little bit oh hang on for a second here let me turn on my light here my lumens light there we go I'm gonna light up the room there we go guys now let's try that. That's a little bit better. Alright, now as you can see, that's exactly the same as the last one that I showed in the other video. Same color schemes and everything. The chevrons. Okay, they're the exact same thing. Okay. Alright. But surprisingly, with these masks here, all the straps are working fine. There are no defects in them. So that's a good thing. Alright, so I'll be able to hang these up rather easily. All right, but that's what this looks like, the back of it. And like I said, when it comes to customizations and stuff, um, it's open to suggestion. I can sand it down, do whatever I need to do. Uh, there is this YouTuber, I think he's called Big Hush. He is infamous, rather famous, I should say, when it comes to actually customizing, you know, um, blank molds when it comes to the Jason Voorhees mess, and he does a fantastic job. So I'll definitely be watching his videos in case I decide to delve into it because I, I seriously want to try it out but I got to get some supplies in order to do that but anyway this one here is the silver black variant okay and it's got the red chevrons again they curve up a little bit so they're not traditional to your normal uh, Jason Voorhees mess but the holes and everything match up perfectly to like the NECA figure the NECA version of it sorry about the figure thing uh, but they are exactly the same in that way. They're the exact same molds, okay? Anyway, this is the silver black variant. We're going to move on to the next one here. Now this one here is a completely yellow one. Oops, sorry. Alright, it does have a little... It seems like they painted this one a little bit better. So, the one that I showed in the other video... Uh, the actual paint job had some white blemishes in it, so it wasn't totally solid yellow like this one here is. So this one here is, you know, it's a little bit different than the other one, but it is in fact both of them are yellow. But the, the other one does have some white spots, so it wasn't perfectly painted in some aspects. Uh, maybe that's just the way they did it, but this one here is like a solid yellow. I think it looks really cool. So it's definitely something different, okay. The back of it obviously is white, okay. Alright, and that's what that looks like. I think they're cool looking. I'm going to hang these on the wall. And eventually I'll, you know, I'll take my camera in there. And I'm going to show you all my masks, including the ones on the walls, okay? I've got a bunch of paintball masks too, so. We'll get into that in another video. Alright, that's the yellow variant, okay? Put that down with them. Now this one here is rather famous because... I have one just like this. It's the black variant. It's almost like the Savini mask, except it doesn't have the cutout parts, and it doesn't have the. Uh, I seen um, Big Hush. He actually did one where he actually took some lenses from uh, glasses. They were almost like a fiery red, and he did something special to it. It really stood out. He did a fantastic job on that mask. So yeah, there you go. And that's what that looks like, guys. Again, the straps, they are working fine, okay? This is the good set, okay? The other set, it did come with some flaws, so like I said, 
one of the masks in themselves didn't have this strap at all. They said, fuck it, I'm not going to put it in the plastic. <laughs> and this one here is a completely white one, okay? So there is, in fact, two different ones here. A little bit different, even though the other one is yellow like I mentioned, but it does have some white blotches. Maybe that's the way they painted it, or they just did a crappy job of painting it. This one here is solid white, okay? Now that's more or less traditional to Jason uh, Voorhees. When he first wore the mask without all the blemishes and you know the dirtiness and stuff. All right, and then that's what she looks like. Okay, those are my Jason Voorhees mask guys. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually hang these up on the wall. But in the meantime, I'm gonna end this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Okay, you've seen all the eight masks that I had. These are about forty bucks for all eight masks. They're roughly around five dollars a piece. You can't go wrong. Maybe, yeah, it's about $5 a piece, yeah. Average cost, okay? Um, but you can't go wrong. But like I said, they're good if you want to do some customization and, you know, change them up a bit. You can definitely do these because they are made of a semi-thick uh, plastic. It's very similar to the Spirit Halloween Jason Voorhees mask. It's got that thick uh, thinness. As you can see, it's not really all that thick. It is quite flexible. But in the meantime... We're going to end this here. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. This is Pumpkin Horror. Have yourselves a good day.